Greetings, YouTube. The Doctor is in. The Doctor Urius Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Marvel Contest of Champions. And today we are going to review what we got last year. And we're also going to see, um, in addition to what we got last year for July 4th, that's what we're looking at. We're reviewing July 4th offers from one year ago. We're also going to see that it looks like we're going to be getting something in the summoner's market this year. So, all right. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or comment. All right, so last year you can see on July 4th, we had unit deals. So you could go to the unit store and you could buy the deals with money and you got some stuff. And then there were tiered bundles as well that you bought with units. And as you can see, if you bought all of the unit packs with $595, you got 17,700 units for that. And then for 18,000 unit cost, you were able to get all the tiered bundles. So this is my video from a year ago uh, reviewing what we got last year. So let's go through this real quick. Um, so here's the announcement that we got a year ago. So this is on July 1st, 2022. Uh, this was the announcement about what we were going to get. And you can see here there was a Cavalier Maple Bundle. You got a Cavalier Nexus Crystal, yada, yada, yada. Nobody cared about that. Um, and then we get into the Unit Bundle offers. So we've got Peter's Parker, Peter Parker's Wallet, Star-Lord's Loot Bag, Tony Stark's Briefcase. Uh, we've got the Black Panther Vault and the Odin. So for five bucks, you were able to get five of these uh, Peter Parkers. Now they, this is when they started offering pretty heavily the rank four, that is tier six basics and tier three alphas. So those were the what you needed at the time to rank four a six star, uh, because very few people had rank fours. And a year ago, they had just introduced Paragon. So I actually got Paragon the day before. No, I got them the day of. I got them the day. I got them the day after all of these started. So I was able to buy all of this stuff, and then I was able to go back in and buy it again at Paragon level. So I actually was able to get um, two of the offer, and all the offers were great. So with this, we got 570 tier six basics, 450 tier three alphas, a thousand six star shards, and five tier two alphas. That stuff is so commonplace now. Um, what I don't know what they're going to offer in Peter Parker's uh, wallet. I have no idea. And then the, you got the upgrade for 10 bucks. We got the Star-Lord's loot bag, so you got the units. And then you got uh, not 10 times, but 5 times the amount of Tier 6 Basics and Tier 3 Alphas. So you got 28.50 and 22.50 for each one of those. You got... 2250 six star shards and you got 10 percent of a tier five class catalyst fragment selector 10 percent those again now you can get those all over the place um pretty easy to get so and then uh we got some we got one tier five basic so tier five basics were still pretty rare back then um but they are not so rare now because there's a bunch of different places we can actually buy those so now if we go forward in the video a little bit, we go to the Black Panther's treasure, which for 50 bucks, uh, oh, for the Tony Stark's briefcase was $30. And I don't have a, I must not have looked at that one. There it is. Uh, okay, so for Tony Stark's briefcase, we got 3,800 tier 6 basics, 3,000 tier 3 alphas, a, a fully formed 6-star hero crystal, just a basic one, and 7,500 6-star shards. I imagine that there are going to be some 7-stars in one of these three this year. And I also imagine that we're going to see some tier 6 class in uh, one of these as well. I think we're still going to see this Tier 2 Alpha in the Peter Parker, but I don't think we're going to see as much of it. We'll probably see more of these Tier 5 Basics in the Star-Lord, 
maybe a little bit more uh, tier six basic and tier three alpha, and maybe a little bit more um, of the tier five class and the six star shards. This might turn into a nexus crystal, uh, or there might be um, these might be in there, but also we might be getting an offer of some seven stars. That's just my guess. Don't quote me on it. That's just my guess. So now if we switch over to the Black Panther's treasure, uh, it was 5,700. So that's 10% of a tier six basic, 10% of a tier three alpha. We got a Nexus crystal, 15 rando six star six stones, which that's the first time we saw those, and a 20% tier five class catalyst. So I imagine that we're going to be seeing some seven stars definitely being offered, seven star shards definitely being offered in this. Um, probably half of either one of these. Um, and maybe uh, these have gotten pretty cheap, these six star signature stones. So probably, um, oh, probably maybe some generics in here. And we'll definitely, I think we might see a fully formed tier five class selector out of here. And lastly, we got the Odin. And the Odin was given us 19,000 tier six, 15,000 tier threes. I imagine we're going to get a full one of each one of these. Two six star Nexus crystals, uh, selectors. We might get a Abyss selector, maybe. I imagine we might even see a fully formed seven star shard or i don't think we're going to see a titan crystal at this point um and then we got two tier five class catalyst selectors i imagine in this we're going to see some tier six class i don't think we're going to see a fully formed one maybe we maybe that's a big maybe and then there was one tier five basic i don't know why they just offered one tier five basic out of this um let's see if i go a little bit further here do we go up I'm doing some talking here is what I'm doing. I'm uh, there we go. And then we got some tier two alpha as well. This was, I don't know why they offered that. And then we, of course, we had a limit of three and a limit of three um, and then so on and so forth. So I think, uh, yeah, that was basically it out of those. Oh, and we had, no, we didn't have any six star six stones out of the other one. That is amazing. Okay. We're kind of looking at all of these and seeing what we got out of. Uh, so there's gold, 300,000 gold. And so then the other thing that we got was the tiered offers. And the tiered offers started here with 1,000 units. So for 1,000 units, you got a basic six star crystal you got a tier five class catalyst crystal so that's rando and you got some gold so i imagine they may be offering something similar to this but maybe a six star hero crystal selector maybe uh, a tier five class catalyst selector because those things are pretty cheap now um and then they got into the announcement of what you got after that so you bought the thousand um and then you spent another 4000 to get this bundle. And then you spent another $10,000 uh, to get either... There's two offers here. So you spent another 10000 to get either the Superior Rank Up Bundle or the Superior Catalyst Bundle. Now, I imagine that the Superior Rank Up Bundle... Um, this had four Nexus six-star crystals, three six-star rank-up gems, two to three. So I imagine we're going to see a, a, a four to five this year in somewhere in here uh, for a six-star. Um, and I think we'll see maybe at the end of this. So the last bundle on this was, there it is, uh, was another 3,000 units, and you got two Nexus six-star hero crystal selectors, a six-star awakening gem. They're actually giving these out now um, for successfully clearing out the side quest. So I imagine we might see one of those up here. I'm going to say we're going to see the fortify rank up gem in here, and I think we'll see some either a fully formed seven-star or uh, like 
up to you know maybe 50 percent to 100 percent of a seven star so i think that was that was all the offers i talked about the difference between these that was essentially all of the offers so we are gonna exit out of here and um we're gonna go where are we gonna go next so we are gonna go over to the summoner's market we go to the store here there it is there's a space in here fun in the sun the store is empty for now come back later which means there's getting ready to be something loaded in here something is going to get loaded in here for fun in the sun um which is our uh our event our fourth of july event that we're going to have and it's for the first time it's coming i think it's coming in game and it's coming on the summoner's market so we'll have to see what's going to get offered and if it's going to be something similar to these and some of the something similar to these in prices and and just remember for the odin you get actually you get more units out of this odin than you do on the odin on the store on the on your device so it's a uh, it's 410 more uh, units out of this one. Cause then they call that the best value. And it is the best value out of all of them. So let me see here. I think I think that is it. I think that is all. So um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or a comment. And I will catch everybody later.